Okay, welcome to my little video here on the Mino Eight Corners of Heaven mirror gong. Been doing a bit of playing with this this morning since it came in, and uh, like some gongs, it takes a while to really figure out what mallet works best um, with that gong and also where the sweet spots are. I can remember playing this gong at the NAM convention a couple years ago and I remember feeling uh, it was um, a little bit quiet and I remember my uh, minor rep at the time described the uh, mirror gongs as being shy actually. And so this is a beautiful gong and I find it's one of those gongs that, for me at least, works best at low volume. I've opened it up a little bit here, um, but I think it's ultimately, uh, you know, best at a lower volume. And I've tried various mallets. A Mino Large Mallet, Peisty M2, and the trusted Peisty M6. But actually, I'm really loving the Peisty M7, quite a big mallet normally for the really large gongs, but I, I find that I can get that real nice rich sound out of this one. So I, again, I don't think this is going to sonically, um, the video is going to do justice to this gong. You have to kind of really be in front of the gong, I think. But um, again, I like to play this one quiet, <coughs> excuse me, and um, near the center to really get as big a, a nice fat bass tone as possible. So here, here I go. Quite a deep, rich tone coming off this. It's quite interesting to play um, a mirror gong. Maybe I'll share some more thoughts on that in another video. But anyway, that's a small, a short demo here. And again, uh, to my taste, to my ears, this gong sounds best played at the lower volume um, with that real nice, deep, rich frequency. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.